Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a full blue moon in Aquarius reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorns, this full moon is taking place on August 22nd and it has been described as basically the luckiest and the sexiest of the year. So on the same day that confident Leo sun slips into service-oriented down-to-earth Virgo, we have our second full moon in Aquarius, which makes it a blue moon. And it has a real lucky and love vibe. Aquarius, the sign of rebellion and truth, holds fiercely onto the values of the individual and wants us to make sure we don't get lost in the crowd and make sure that our unique beauty shines. This full moon is also conjunct Jupiter and literally makes zero negative aspects, so it should bring us hope, clarity, and balance. All right, my dear Capricorns, let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's see what messages come through for you for this beautiful blue moon. Messages, please, for my Capricorns for this beautiful blue moon. So you've got the Two of Cups in reverse. Okay, Capricorn, so the energy you're bringing into this full moon is a little bit of a lack of balance. This could be emotional balance. Um, you could be really trying to focus on self-love. Um, you may be trying to manifest partnership after some sort of breakup or separation. All right, what you're leaving behind, the Three of Cups. So some of you guys, you may have been in a third party situation. Um, there could be vicious gossip around this connection or around your love life or around you. It doesn't have to be your love life. Um, but it also indicates betrayal and heartbreak and disappointment. Okay, this can be by friends. This can be by a particular special someone, um, a long-term partner, but it definitely indicates some sort of betrayal and disappointment that you're leaving behind. And it may be exactly what led to the breakup of this friendship, um, this partnership, this romance, okay, this long-term commitment. Again, and not for everyone is it going to be about love. It could be about, you know, co-workers or family members. What you're moving towards, Four of Pentacles, I know you're going to like that. This is about stability. And, um, you know, this, this energy, the Four of Pentacles, is about holding back. It's about, you know, not really sharing much. Um, and I think you're, you're actually in this energy of self love Capricorn. And I think you're, you're also protecting yourself because you've been through something that feels kind of nasty. All right, so we have the Knight of Wands and we've got the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So Capricorn, this is an energy, these are my advice cards for you. One, you've got a magnetic and seductive quality about you. Some of you guys, you're giving yourself permission to see what else is out there or to follow your passions and follow your dreams. So if you've been through a breakup or a separation or you've been trying to manifest love or you know, you're out of a job or something along those lines or, you, or you're looking to move away from a partnership or a job or a situation, you know, the spirit's telling you to, to remind yourself of what makes you, you know, what, what makes that fire burn for you? What are you passionate about? And really go for it because I feel like this is actually a huge blessing in disguise to get in touch with yourself. You don't have to share with others. <laughs> okay. And I know that sounds kind of like funny advice, but I feel like you were in a situation that was very disappointing or it was imbalanced or you were over giving and now you're in this energy of, you know what, I've got to, you know, I've got to create a stable foundation for myself. Some of you guys are building up a nest egg for a home. For others of you, you might be shifting careers or you're just, you know, you're ready to explore love and relationships and situations that really turn you on. And with the three of pentacles in reverse and the three of cups, I'm seeing that my Capricorns out there, some of you guys that you absolutely have been in a situation where there was some sort of third party interference. Again, that can be another lover. If it was a love situation, it can be friends and family that were meddling or that were giving bad advice. You know, it can be that there was betrayal by friends, family, family members, vicious gossip. Um, it can also indicate, you know, like coworkers talking behind your back. But what I'm seeing here, Capricorn, some of you guys, you're thinking about taking up some sort of new career or, you know, some sort of side hustle on something that you're really passionate about, because I feel like you've kind of switched gears. Like whatever has happened to you, it's been this enlightenment energy where you're like, you know what, now is the time that I'm going to really go after what it is that I've always wanted to, but I hadn't had the time or I didn't have the 
you know, the energy, but now is the time. It's like this fresh, beautiful start for you. Now, what you need to know, high priestess in reverse, somebody who ghosted you or somebody who pulled their energy back is definitely going to try to come back in. But I also see here Capricorn that if this was a betrayal or this is somebody, you know, who wants to come in and make an apology, that's all well and good. But I see a lot of you guys, you might be shutting them down because I think you're really, the energy I'm getting here is you're actually really excited about what's out there what new is to come, you know, and to, and to really, it's like you're coming into alignment with yourself. The high priestess can be cancer energy and I'm getting really strong cancer vibes off of this reading, which is your opposite sign. But some of my Capricorns, you may have cancer in your chart or you're dealing with a cancer, a Pisces or a Scorpio even. But what I'm seeing here with the high priestess in reverse, this is about passing some serious tests. And you guys have really been going through the gauntlet Capricorn, but you're coming out on the other side. All right. Now I do apologize if you pick up on any background noise, because I know there are people that are talking really loudly and I hope it's not picking up on the camera, but Anyway, point is, high priestess in reverse, you've passed some serious tests, you've reached some enlightenment, you're learning to really trust your intuition, seven of wands, and you're coming out on top. It's not without a fight though. Um, it hasn't been the easiest of journeys here, but with the seven of wands, this is about you rising above. And I also feel like you're starting to really protect yourself, where either you thought you were immune to heartbreak or loss, or you were more focused on taking care of other people. Now it's all about you, Capricorn, and it's a really really, really positive thing. So we have the princess of wands. So some of you guys, you are going to be meeting somebody. It's like birds of a feather is what I heard. Um, they might be a fire sign. They might be a little bit younger, but this is also some really, really good news coming in. Okay. So it could be like, you know, a passionate new beginning. Again, take it slow, protect yourself. You don't have to jump into anything. Some of my Capricorns, again, you're not looking for a long-term commitment or you're giving yourself permission to see what's out there, to really see if it's in alignment with you. Being a little bit pickier is what I'm seeing about the people that you entertain or that you enter into relationships with, the jobs, the contracts, that sort of thing. Cause I feel like you're actually in a really good place. Um, but I do see you kind of circling the wagons. Okay. And some of my Capricorns, there's some travel coming up for you. All right, so I like this energy because it's like a fresh start, but it's like, it's you going after what you want. It's you coming into alignment with your passion. Yeah, some of you guys, you are in an unhealthy situation and I see that the heart chakra may need a little bit of, you know, a little bit of balancing and healing here. Um, Archangel Raphael is about getting out in nature. We connect with our, with Raphael when we're in green spaces in particular. Um, but it's a beautiful energy here. You know, you're no longer willing to accept and you're healing from some sort of toxic relationship or situation. All right. Yeah. And this is because Capricorn, this is, I think what you were trying to build stability, a happy family, a long-term commitment. Um, but I also see that in what you're doing right now and really following your passions and, and, and building up your coin and circling the wagons and going within, you're going to rise above. And this is what you're manifesting. All right, financial constraints. So some of you guys, you know, you were in an energy of lack or you felt like you weren't good enough or you were feeling left out in the cold. I feel like you're getting back out there and you're getting your mojo back here, Capricorn. I also see finances going in your favor and we get strong Sagittarius energy with the patience card, but this is the number 16, which is a tower, right? In the major arcana. So you, this has been a major upset, a major shift. Some of you guys have moved out of a house. Some of you guys have gone through a very intense separation or left a long-term commitment when it comes to work. But Spirit's telling you here that with the Patience card, your angels and your guides are surrounding you. There's healing taking place and your prayers, your wishes are being granted. And for many of you guys, it's about that heart chakra opening up, letting that heart out of its cage because I feel like it's been a long time coming. Something beautiful is coming to you. And again, it might be a younger fire sign for some of you, although it may not be for all of you, all right? So let's go ahead and we get beautiful number 33 again master teacher number. So you've been learning some really tough life lessons, which is just echoing that high priestess energy. All right, let's go ahead. And some of you guys, a lot of this was taking place during cancer season, um, you know, which we just sort of went through. So we've got two cards coming out. We've got sunglasses and we've got self-indulgence. Lovely. So watching. So, you know, you may have a past person who's keeping tabs on you. Um, you know, and I also feel that, you know, Capricorn, I think you've gotten to a point with that four of pentacles and the three of pentacles in reverse. Uh, 
helps. We get a little confirmation there from my phone that, you know, I think you're just shifting your focus. Like, whereas you were really focused on maybe pleasing others or pleasing this person, you're now focusing on yourself, on your self-worth. It's time for you to heal. It's time for you to circle the wagons. And financially, you guys are also, you know, making strides or calling in abundance. So we've got kisses. So I do see for many of you, there is a new romance coming in. Um, you may be falling in love. It Again, to take it slow, it's going to be a very passionate connection. And some of you guys, you know, you have gone through you have gone through a difficult breakup or separation or you're just trying to build yourself up so just make sure you're on the same page okay that you know if you're not ready for commitment that you're very you know that you're upfront about that okay because i do see that there's um you know this can be a connection too that burns really hot and fast um they're kind of showing me like a mercury retrograde it could be some sexual healing um but just make sure you guys are on the same page all right and we get, I like you. Yeah, so this is about taking it slow, Capricorn. I think some of you guys are gonna be unexpectedly meeting somebody who matches your energy. They may be different than your usual type and expectations, but I feel like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Now, if it's not a romance, it's like a new job or a new idea. Just, you know, go with your passion. This is the time for you to really explore Capricorns. Have fun getting out there. Have fun dating. Have fun, you know, exploring your passions. You know, if you've always wanted to take up painting or you wanted to bowl, or something like that. You know, it's about really just starting, you know, it's about getting into a much more lighthearted energy and it's all about you. Okay. So we see the butterfly. So, um, you know, I see that there's a lot of healing, but there's also a lot of growth here. And I feel like this is just you spreading your wings after feeling, you know, after feeling a little bit, um, like, you know, whatever this past situation was love or money or work or family. Yeah. I feel like it, there's an, like an oppressive energy around it and you're just sort of setting yourself free here. So I love it. And, and I don't think it's been that easy. I think it's been a tough road, but now it's time to get out and play. Okay. So we get, look at that, the lovers, the cosmic union is destined for greatness. Some of you guys, you're going to be unexpectedly meeting the one, okay? But with the prince and the princess of wands, it may be very sort of passionate, very sexually based. It may be, you know, it may be very hot and heavy at first in spirit saying to just let things unfold naturally, but be very upfront and be very honest. Again, this could be a connection that paves the way for something, um, you know, for your person. So just, just try to, you know, not be too attached to the outcome right now. This again, like I said, spirit wants you to really enjoy yourself, explore, have fun. So we see the Oracle. So I am the Oracle. My intuitive insights flow freely. And we see that here with the high priestess. Um, it's all about trusting your intuition. And I feel like this past situation, you may not have trusted your intuition and you saw how that may have gotten you or that connection or that situation into a little bit of trouble. And yep, you're giving birth to fruitful and sacred assignments. So you're in that process of conception though. And it's really important that you figure out what it is that turns you on. What is it that, you know, that, what is it that fire that burns within that you want to do if it's about work or if it's about people or relationships, um, because you're in the process of creating something really beautiful here. Yeah. And at the bottom of the deck, we get rise out of the ashes. I rise like the golden sun. So that's you guys, Capricorn. You guys have been through a lot and now it's time, you know, you, it's, it's this, this energy though, this reading, this full moon, it's about doing something different and it's about doing what's right for you. And I like it. I love it. All right. So we get, I'm sorry. And we get, I feel you energetically. So you may have a past person coming back in. Um, and that they, they may be offering an apology. I, I feel like, I feel like many of my Capricorns, you are finished with that past situation. Um, and it's about getting healing and closure. Okay. They may come in for that, or maybe, you know, I also feel with this, I'm sorry, you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can move forward. Okay. So you don't carry or harbor that negative energy with you because something beautiful is unfolding. I feel you energetically. I feel like this princess and this knight of wands, you're going to meet somebody who's either on the same path or you guys just have this in instant connection. Um, and again, you might also be using your intuition or doing something when it comes to work or comes to your finances that just feels right. Okay. So really trust that feeling Capricorn. Um, it, it's pretty amazing. Actually, this energy, you guys have been through a lot, been through a lot. All right, let's go ahead and see what else comes through. 
We get power, look at that. Standing in your power, Capricorn. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. And that's what I feel like this, this full moon is bringing you, like you're giving yourselves permission to play, to get out there, to see what you like and don't like. Nothing is set in stone, you know? And so if you do have like a, you know, a short-term relationship on the horizon, you know, be okay with that. Be okay with the lessons that you learn. Be okay with, you know, being upfront about how you feel Feel, what you want, that sort of thing, because man, you're on the right path. You're on the right path. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Sending you lots of love and light. Take care.